A side effect of having kids is I don't have the time to make sure I've done everything right before I upload, so I screwed up again. I didn't realize I uploaded in low res until I saw this comment. Oops. So I re-rendered full version and uploaded that, but that took an agonizingly long time because I kept making so many mistakes because I was in so much of a rush. And it's now been half an hour since I uploaded. Uh, here's my real-time analytics for that video. And you can see this one is doing well below the trend lines. Whereas the original video, um, it was actually doing really well. Unfortunately, the trend line is no longer shown here because it's unlisted. But in the first uh, 30 minutes or so, it got 4,000 views. Hang on, let me... 30 minutes, 4,500 views. Whereas the new one in the first 30 minutes has only got 3,440 views. Because, of course, it's a re-upload and nobody's going to watch it, which will screw up my statistics from here on. Um, also frustrating was, even though I had the uh, new one, um, the stats on the views real-time, so the new one came in about here, and the old one was still getting more views than the new one for quite a while. So here we're looking at about 120 per minute at 13.22, and on this one at 13.22, we got about uh, 109 views, so the... Uh, the new one got fewer views than the old ones, even though the newer one was newer. And of course it was also a bit confusing because the thumbnail is the same for both, so I just actually re-uploaded on the unlisted one now. This uh, 480p, oops, on top of the thumbnails, just so I can tell them apart. So now if we look at the comments, and keep in mind the new video is up for half an hour now. This is on the old one, new one, old one, new one, old one. So it looks like... And this is other videos, but it looks like the majority of comments is still on the old one. This is a comment 24 minutes ago. So somehow there's a certain amount of inertia that's just keeping things from switching over to the new one. I was originally going to leave the old one as present, figuring it would switch over, but it wasn't. So I had to make it unlisted to kind of kill that one um, so that the new one would come up. I will, in fact, delete this one eventually, but I'm, I'm keeping it unlisted for now because I don't want to yank it out from under people if they're still watching it. And also, I want to see what the stats do on this long term. Like, what are the earnings? I can't see that if I delete it now. Anyways, the old video was doing above average, well above the trend lines, and the new one is doing below. And I suspect I have jinxed the new video now, or I have jinxed that video by having the old one that people watched and then they're not going to watch the new one because it's the same thing, just higher resolution, um, then YouTube will think that it's a sucky video because people aren't watching it because they've seen it before, except YouTube doesn't know they've already seen it, that it's the same as the previous one. So the algorithm is probably going to judge that video unfavorably saying, people aren't watching that one as much, it must be a sucky video, let's not suggest it as much, and the whole video is going to go like this, I suspect. New upload is now getting close to an hour old, and it's got 6.1k views. And uh, if I go on the dashboard, it shows me the rankings, and I made the old one public again so that uh, it shows up in there. So I look in the dashboard, and uh, this one here, uh, the re-upload is at number 8 at 6.7k views in the first 58 minutes. The older version is at 4.9k. That's weird. It was doing really well. Um, so let's look at the analytics for that one. Oh. So it's well below the trend lines. I thought it was above. This is strange and it's got 10.6k views. But I actually uh, saved a screenshot of the analytics beforehand and it had 16.4k views when I screenshot the analytics when it was maybe an hour and 45 minutes old, now it's got 10.6k views. What gives? Is This is like an election or something, isn't it? Um, so somehow YouTube is screwing around with the analytics on me. They're changing my history. Okay, it's an hour later and I'm looking at the stats for my unlisted video and it says in the past hour it's got 797 views. This is where I briefly made it public to show up in the rankings. So 797 views, and right now it says 7620 7, views. That's in the first three hours and two minutes. So let's go back to two hours in. 
and it says 7216, so 7216, 7620. So 400, the graph went up by 400 in the past hour, and here it says in the past hour it got 780. What gives? Maybe because the video is unlisted, YouTube is saying, ah, those views don't really count, so we won't count them? Can't trust analytics. And the re-upload video is doing worse than average, but not dramatically so. <laughs> and it says, regular viewers are choosing to watch this video less often than usual, contributing to 17% fewer views. Well, gee, why aren't regulars watching this video again? Duh! If only YouTube knew that it was the same video. A day has passed since my upload oops, so let's look at the stats again. Here's the uh, new version of it, the high-res version, and you can see initially it was below the trend line, the uh, grade zone there. And now it's more towards the middle, so it's been recovering a little bit from that initial period where the first viewers just didn't watch it again because they'd already seen it. And the analytics for the other one, this one shows a 7-day graph because this has been up for more than 24 hours now. And it says it went up to about 6k on the graph, says 5.9k here. The real time for the past 48 hours says 22.9k views. And if I look at the uh, list of videos, here it's unlisted and indeed it says 22.9k views. And I'm pretty sure that 22.9k views is correct. It's just the uh, graph on the analytics is wrong as well as the number right above it. It's now two days since I uploaded this video and it is slightly above the midpoint of the typical range, which is surprising for this video because it's a lot of charts. But if I scroll down here and look at audience retention, that's actually quite poor for my videos. And that's because uh, charts and stuff like that generally make people drift away. So I think the reason the video is doing relatively well is because of the uh, clickbaity thumbnail and title. It's also managed to earn $551 Canadian so far. That's about $430 US dollars. Um, but that's on the first day of views because the earnings are only reported by day and they're always a day behind. So that's the first day views, second day views. And if we click on earnings, there's nothing present for the second day views. So the first day of views of 58,000 views has earned $551. Now let's go back to my upload accident. And this one has earned $204 Canadian. That's about 160 US dollars. And looking at this graph now, it goes up in levels as expected. And that level is at uh, almost 24,000 views, which is in line with this uh, real-time view as well as the other accounts. So I guess they fixed that graph. So the damage I did by re-uploading the video straight away wasn't too, too bad because in that first hour and a half or so, it only got a fraction of the views that it was going to get. If I had done that a day later, I think the damage would have been much worse and that the new video would really be judged poorly by the algorithm for getting very few views. As for the revenue numbers, those are much bigger than I was expecting, but it's also the pre-Christmas time and uh, advertising revenue is always doing really good this time of year. As for the view counts, those are much better than I was expecting because getting too deep into the science usually makes a video do poorly. So I think just having a rather clickbaity thumbnail, and I thought about that quite a lot. I uh, bent that uh, curved piece of wood at the end of that video, that shape, specifically to have something to show in the thumbnail so it looks sort of like a question mark. Um, so that is to suggest that uh, clickbaity thumbnails and titles unfortunately work. And one more thing, how did I end up uploading 480p? Well, it wasn't actually 480p. I do all my editing at 960 by 540 in Sony Vegas and that makes this editor nice and snappy. So before I do any editing, I have a script that uses FFmpeg, which is actually running right now to downsize all the videos to half size. And then once I'm happy with the edit, I rescale everything to full size, which is just a matter of changing the settings in here and replacing the video files with the full 1080 files, which actually also pre-process that's running right now. And then I have the full resolution. And at that point, the editor is no longer snappy, but I don't care because I'm done editing. As for Sony Vegas, don't learn Sony Vegas. It's not a great video editor. I use it because I bought a copy 10 years ago and I got proficient at it and I just haven't taken the time to learn something else. Plus, I paid, I don't know, about uh, 
$100 for that copy, and I'm still using the same copy, and that is a lot cheaper than some kind of Adobe whatever subscription.